Lucy on Gears. What we got, Daisy? On Saturday afternoon, I decided to do something different to a regular Neighborhoods Day or Parkhurst lunch. So a group of us decided to go to Gilroy's Microbrewery. Initially, I thought it was a bit of a drive away, but after a very pleasant 25-minute drive, we arrived to an extremely festive vibe, which turned out to be a fabulous Saturday afternoon. Today, we are chatting to Steve Gilroy, owner of Gilroy's, who I must say is an incredibly entertaining host and also enjoys singing a song or two. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Thanks so much for chatting to us today. Young lady, good morning, good afternoon. What the heck, what, what time is it? It's afternoon, <laughs> Steve. Hello time. there, Steve. Is it? <laughs> is that Sash? Yes, it is, sir. How are you? I am young and lovely, talented, black, delightful to look at, lovely to touch, <laughs> not right in the head, distressingly so because it's Monday, but constantly horny. I, I, well, I could have said I'm well, but I thought I'd give you the whole story. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad you explained it so well. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, starting off, could you tell us a bit more about Gilroy's and how it started? Yeah. Um, do, you want, do, do, do you want the scenic route or the quick version? Uh, whatever you want to give us. How long have we got? <laughs> go, go, go for it, Steve. Give us, give us a, a com- combination of the two. <laughs> okay. Um, Gilroy's probably started <coughs> in 1860. Uh, no, no, this is the long version now. The quick version is I started brewing when I first came to this country in 1970 um, as a home brewer. Um, I had a couple of businesses, um, pharmaceutical printing for a while, engineering, um, then decided I'd finally reached the age where I could do something where I was going to have some fun. So in 2000, we, um, we got our brewer's license. We became legal, which is for an Irishman. is a bit of a challenge in this country. It takes, <laughs> it, it, it takes the joy out of business. I can imagine. Um, <laughs> then for eight years, you know, we, we were one of, the, one of the first three micros in the country. For eight years, um, I stood in bottle stores and extolled the virtues of Gilroy's, um, got relatively um, alcoholically relaxed every weekend in most <laughs> bottle stores. Um, definitely got the image out there and decided there was, this was not the way to go. Um, started, the, started the brew pub in, in Mulder's Drift in Gwenya Glass Village uh, in 2008 and have never looked back. I've never had so much fun in my life it's, that's that's the quick version. It's a, it's an extraordinary. We st- are. Yeah, sorry, it's an extraordinary sorry. story. I mean, uh, just in the sense of s- hearing how happy you are and uh, and enjoying yourself uh, doing exactly what you want to do. Sooner or later, I think there comes a time in everyone's life where they've got to say, Sasha, tell me you don't enjoy what you're doing. No, exactly. I love what I'm doing. Ta-da! There it is. Right on it. There it is. If you don't, if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to make a good job of it. And during your lifetime, you should be able to get one thing right at least. Got to, we've got to try, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, if, if it involved alcohol and being interviewed by some stunning young ladies, of which Diana is obviously the most stunning. <laughs> um, for those people who are listening... You, if, if you haven't seen this chick live, I was going to say in the flesh, but I'm going to rephrase that. <laughs> if you haven't seen her live, she's absolutely stunning. She has huge eyes, a body with everything in just the right place. It's lovely blonde hair. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got she, just thinking about it. She's, yeah, she's, no, she, uh, uh, Diana, you really did brighten my Saturday afternoon. Thank you. Oh, she's <laughs> blood red at the Thanks, moment. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's one of the joys. She's got this um, quick blush thing that's so cute. <laughs> okay, um, sadly I missed the beer tasting, <laughs> on, <laughs> the beer tasting on Saturday. <clears throat> um, but you did tell me you teach people how to get incredibly drunk. Could you tell us more about these? I'm so sad I missed it. I'm definitely no, no, coming no. back. V- very few people need teaching. They just need the encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> and to do things in the right order, of course. <laughs> now, we, we, we do do the beer experience. Um, we, go through, we go through the hops, we go through the grains, we go through the history of beer. 
um, but we pepper it, liberally pepper it with humour. So it, it's more of an hour and a half comedy show. <laughs> uh, but obviously with a hell of a lot of beer. And Otherwise t- it wouldn't be a beer experience. And being Irish, it must be hysterically funny. Uh, well, no, I, I mean, I, I never know what's going to come out of my mouth next. So, um, yes, it's, it's, it's always... I love it. I love it. Sasha, please, um, unfortunately not next weekend. Um, and Diana, of course, and your stunning family. Oh, you should say mum. Um, <laughs> but, but we... He mentioned casually. Steve, Steve, we... I'd just like to say, I, I, I have met your dad, and he's a lovely man, but thank God you got your mother's look. <laughs> Listen, we call her Mrs. Crumpet. I'm going to have to ask why. Well, she just is that delicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, Steve, what... Oh, um, I don't... One thing I would like to say, if I may, yes. and this is a shameless plug, um, I have almost finished building the new brewery. Well, not the new brewery. We've upgraded quite dramatically. And within ooh, um, four weeks to five weeks, we should be in small quantities in most bottle stores in the Tang through the graces of um, Halewood International Distributors. Um, that sounds brilliant. They're the guys who do that uh, Caribbean twist, all that kind of thing. And um, they've been waiting for us for a while. Well, for a couple of years. <laughs> and we're finally ready to go into the shops with new branding. Well, it's still 120 years behind the times, obviously. <laughs> but, it sounds um, terrific. Fun. I must say your beer is I, I, delicious, I, too. The Lord makes the beer. I'm just his best little helper. <laughs> And we do know that the Antichrist makes wine. <laughs> oh, you should. I, I, didn't, be an awkward moment. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> we just got a nice tweet and says, it says Gilroy's has the best beer ever. The beer tasting is very entertaining. A must to everyone who's never been. So, how's that? Somebody loves your place even more than Daisy. Please, please reply to it and say thank you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you, you have to come. You have yes. to come. You have an open invitation. Thank you. I won't um, be, as you say, I won't be able to come this weekend. But I'm going to wait until uh, I'm going to wait until maybe the week after. There we go. First week of August. Brilliant. We'll and be if there. Diana could please, please give me a ring, and we get you booked in because it's um, look, it's something you don't do every day. And the nice thing is, you can do it on a regular basis because you keep forgetting what's happened. <laughs> But, Steve, you also love being behind the mic. When did you discover that hidden talent? Um, I think it's an Irish thing. It's I'm not an really Irish shy. Thing. There we go. Um, well, look, in um, a quick version of this one. 1970, when I came to this country as a mechanical engineer, first thing I did... Um, the best way to make friends and uh, meet young ladies. No, I'm joking. I was engaged then. Um, <laughs> I'm still married to the same smiling woman <laughs> that I met on the 7th of the 7th, 1967. Wonderful. How's that? Wonderful. So um, um, I came over. Um, I was still under contract to EMI somehow. And they said, if you, um, if you pick, up, pick up a guitar in South Africa... Um, that we still own you. I thought, oh, that's that's a bit strange. Mustn't say that. That sounds more like a threat. So I started a band called Suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if if you haven't, you've got to be careful. I think which websites you go on to when you <laughs> look for Suck. Um, but if you go for Time to Suck, the album, and uh, this is an interesting thing. We have. Um, According to my chef, I am computer illiterate. I have no idea how to turn one on. I still have a logical brain, and I can always find the bits of paper I've written on given time. Um, But according to chef, we've had on the time to suck, um, um, can't remember the names of the sites, the different music sites. Um, We've we've had over a million hits. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, please check it out. It's it's really weird. Um, Suck seems to be quite a popular, <laughs> well, a, a, a band to investigate from the, yeah, I, I know where you're going, I stop it. Um, a band to invest. I could hear that little snigger at the back. Yeah, she's um, shocking. A band to investigate from the 70s. And the, it, it, on, um, shit, what's it called? Um, YouTube. eBay. eBay. Okay, we'll go uh, and have a look. Yeah, on eBay, the original Suck albums, from what I'm given to understand, are going for like 700 to to $1,000 each. Wow. All right, we'll have a look. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, I've still got one. I could retire for some of that. There we go. <laughs> Although I must say, I, I'm I'm more interested in coming there for the beer tasting and listening to your um, your uh, vocal talents in the flesh, so to say, so to speak. Well, well, we do have fun, sir. We do have fun, and that's what it's all about. It's about when you go out somewhere, you expect to be part of an experience. You don't want to go there and say, "Oh, look, yeah, yeah the trees are very nice." <laughs> oh, and yeah, the trees are really nice. These are really lovely trees. Yeah, there, there has to be more to it an afternoon than lovely trees. We, although we do have lovely trees. Mm. Looking there's forward, got to be laughter. Looking there's forward, got to be joy. Looking forward to there's the There's got beer. to be pushing the boundary reality just a little bit. <laughs> Sounds awesome. I think we should actually also <laughs> do a beer tasting in studio. Ian would love that. Yeah, but I think you should come to the one at the brewery first. Okay, perfect. So if you've got a rough idea whether you really want me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we look okay, well, we'll to be it. there <laughs> soon. We'll be there very soon. Thanks so much for chatting to us today, Stephen. Thanks, uh, Steve. I had an incredible day on Saturday. It was awesome. Thank you. I'm on my way to see my grandchildren now. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll take them out and look at some trees, yeah. <laughs> so I wish you both... <laughs> I wish you both a really naughty afternoon. I wish you sincerely. <laughs> Thank you very much. A you, afternoon. you too. <laughs> Always do, sir. Always do. All right, take care, Steve. There we go. What a delightful man. Looking so forward to meeting him. Now. At the next intersection, turn on gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from twelve to two p.m. Central African time.